went on a little shopping spree a couple weeks ago and this is some of what I got. It's the Waveshare Raspberry Pi B Plus uh, 3.2 inch LCD expansion board and modules kit. I just want to show you guys what we got here. This shipped all the way from China. It took about a week and a half, not too long. Right, everything came wrapped in uh, static proof plastic and looks like we have the 3.2 inch LCD screen for the Raspberry Pi. Let's open it up. And have a look. Alright. Nice. Got the connections for the GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi. Looks like we have the DVK-512, this is an expansion board, a lot of different features on this thing. Let's have a closer look. Alright, so here we have the GPIO extension pins. Plugs into the Raspberry Pi on this side. And you can use these for other devices, sensors, etc. Up top here, we've got our USB to UART connector. We've got our I2C pins. Eight input outputs. Here's our UART interface. Here's the SPI connectors. And this right here is a row of pins to connect to an LCD. Not this LCD, but the smaller, like 16 by 2 LCDs. Here's a potentiometer for the contrast. These are jumpers for, these two are for the UARTs, this is for the real-time clock, these are for the LEDs, and these are for the keys, the user keys. I've got four user keys right here, and these are four user LEDs right on this side. Now this thing in the middle here, this is the real-time clock battery holder. This is the real-time clock chip, and this is the clock crystal right here. All right. There's a lot of different stuff you can use this for. I'm going to be going over this in other projects too, so be sure to check that out. Here we have, this is our infrared remote receiver, let's see if we can get a better look at that. And this is a digital thermometer sensor right here. Came with 
with the USB to mini USB cable. Put that aside. Here's the infrared remote controller. Looks good. This is a CD, I'm assuming, with uh, hopefully product information sheets and schematics for these boards. Are wires, two pin, four pin. Looks like two twos and two fours. That's good. Here are screws. Probably mounts for the LCD. And we've got this other package right here. with some of the modules. All right, let's take a look at what we have here. This little guy is the LSM 303 DLHC. This is a 3D accelerometer and 3D magnetometer. Uh, the function is a compass, so that's really cool. I'm going to be using that quite a bit. We've got our I2C pins and SPI interface. Here we have our 8 channel 3.3 volt and 5 volt logic level converter. This will come in handy for interfacing a Raspberry Pi to the Arduino. The Raspberry Pi runs on 3.3 volts and the Arduino runs on 5 volts. Here we have the PCF8591. This is our analog digital digital analog converter. We've got our I2C pins, female and male. And we've got some jumpers right here and a potentiometer. Looks good. And here is the mix board. Now this guy right here, this is our joystick. We've got four axes right there. Excuse me, two axes. Four directions. Uh, this is a buzzer. This is the infrared receiver module. This is where the infrared receiver plugs in. This is the one wire digital thermometer connector. These are jumpers for all the pins. Nicely labeled. Uh, QD, buzzer, IRM, press, and then A, B, C, D corresponding to A, B, C, and D.
And last but not least, we have the LG 34200D board. This is the three axis digital gyroscope and angular rate sensor. So just like your smartphone can tell the angles around the X, Y, and Z axes. This thing will tell you the same thing. So we've got our I2C female pins and I2C male pins plus our SPI pins right there. All right, everything looks great. And if you're like me and don't really know a lot about this stuff, but want to know more, then definitely stay tuned because I'm going to be using these in a lot of projects coming up and it's going to be a lot of fun. So hope you stick with it and yeah, have a good day. Talk to you later.